Hey Eastgate friends, it's Mrs. Salerno here and I have our story for the day for you guys. I have Splat the Cat, Oopsie Daisy, based on the creation of Rob Scotton. I love Splat the Cat books. He's such a silly cat and he does all kinds of crazy things. It was almost springtime. The weather was getting warmer, but the sky was still gray and rainy. Splat thought being stuck inside was a waste of his Saturday afternoon. Splat perked up when a sopping wet Seymour scurried into his room. Seymour was carrying a weird looking seed. Where did you get that? asked Splat. Seymour held up the seed and stared at it. Then he shrugged again. I wonder what kind of seed it is? asked Splat. It could be anything. Well, there's only one way to solve this mystery. Seymour, let's see if we can make it grow. I think we need to plant it first, Splat said, but I've never planted anything before. Do you know how to plant a seed? Seymour shrugged. Okay, then let's go to the library to find out, Splat announced. Splat and Seymour walked straight to the library to look for a book about gardening. The only problem was that there was so much information. Splat wanted to grow one seed, not a whole field of corn. After staring at the shelves for a long time, Splat finally asked the librarian. She was happy to help him find the perfect book, A Cat's Guide to Plants and Potting by Jack Tabby. Mrs. Lunday is awesome at finding books. If you ever want a certain book, just ask her. The book said the first step was getting a pot and filling it with soil. Not all the soil landed in the pot. Splat. Next, Splat planted the seed in the dirt. He set the flower pot on a sunny windowsill. Then he watered the soil. Not all of the water went into the pot. Splat checked the flower pot every day. He hoped and hoped for any sign of a sprout. He wondered what kind of plant it would be. Maybe the seed would grow into a wild garden of roses. Do you think? Or maybe the seed would grow into a tree as tall as the sky. That would be awesome. Splat couldn't wait to see what grew. He sang to the seed, read to it, and told it stories. For two whole weeks, Splat waited and waited for the seed to do something. Splat was ready to give up. Maybe the seed would never sprout. Feeling terribly disappointed, he watered the soil one last time, just in case. The dirt in the pot shifted a little when Splat added water. A tiny green sprout sprang up. Splat cheered loudly, but quickly shut his mouth. He didn't want to scare the little plant back into the soil. During the next week, the sprout grew a few straggly leaves. Splat was thrilled when a few days later, a little bud appeared up top. The next day, the bud opened and a bloom blossomed. It wasn't a wild jungle plant or a many colored rose or a tall, tall tree. It was a flower, a little daisy, and Splat knew just who to give it to. Who do you think he's gonna give it to? I love it, said mom. It's the most special flower ever. Splat smiled and hugged his mother. I grew it myself, Splat said, with a little help from Seymour. A few weeks ago, you guys 
planted your seeds. And yours aren't going to grow into flowers, but you guys planted vegetables. How are your guys' growing? Send a picture to your teacher so they can see your sprouts and see how it's coming. All right, have a fantastic Wednesday.